Turning science fiction into reality, OpenAI is introducing a new feature to ChatGPT, making the AI chatbot feel even more human, the ability to talk to you. Listen. We want to hear a bedtime story. Tell us a story about the super-duper sunflower hedgehog named Larry. Larry was a unique hedgehog unlike any other. He had bright sunflower petals instead of spines. Residing in Meadowville, Larry spread joy and color wherever he rolled. Here to react is Kurt, the cyber guy. Uh, Kurt, this is a little weird, but I, I can understand why some parents would like their kids to be read a story by ChatGPT. <laughs> Yeah, it's easier for the folks, right? Larry, right. Uh, Lawrence, good morning to you. Ainsley, always good, good to see you. Hayden's probably a little too old for you to do bedtime stories with still, but uh, this can now do it. Get ready for your phone to open up very creepy conversations with OpenAI's ChatGPT. Starting this week, ChatGPT is rolling out this feature called Voice Conversation. After trying this, you may wonder if keyboards and computers are even going to be necessary. Uh, it's weird. You can ask it anything. I mean, you can ask it for example, you could even upload a photo of a strawberry, a banana, and, oh, let's say, pancake mixed. And you say, hey, what can I make with this? And it'll say, strawberry, banana, pancakes, and give you the recipe. It's, it's a really scary thing when you get using it. But if you got 20 bucks a month, that's all, the only one who's going to get it. So you have to have an iPhone or an Android. It's for ChatGPT Plus members. That's $20 a month. And then you have to have the app. It's not going to work on a computer screen. But you can literally ask this thing just about anything, and it's going to have a conversation with you that is not like a robot. It sounds like a human being, and it is so uncanny that you wonder, who am I talking to? Yeah. And you, it's, it's just one of those things that catches you and goes... Okay, this is how the world ends, right? Well, Kurt, when, when you get in your car, you can choose in some cars nowadays what setting, what voice you want. Do you want a female voice? Do you want a male voice? Mm -hmm. And then there is Siri and there's Alexa. So what is the difference? Well, Siri and Alexa are going to be really jealous on this one. While those <laughs> are getting a lot more AI in it, they don't sound like they sound like, yeah, it's 75 degrees outside. Uh -huh. And this one is like, Hey, Ainsley, yeah, it's about 75. It's kind of how you liked it yesterday when it was 72, and you're like, Wah! your skin just kind of gets creepy.